What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick Hope here at Maple Motors in Hearsonville, Tennessee and well it's raining today. So we got it up under the awning here. Hopefully it doesn't start downpouring on us in the middle of the video and get too loud but we're gonna be doing a walk around on a 1964 El Camino. I want to do as many walk arounds as I can today and knock those out while it's raining. Uh, that way it takes less time and I could just go ahead and jump on the test drives later in the week when it's nice and sunny. I did wipe it off so you can actually see the paint. If I can keep the water off of it during this rainstorm, we'll be all right here. But I'm going to be pointing out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what you're coming to buy. We'll go ahead and do all these walk arounds. Hopefully I can knock off two or three of them today and uh, we'll get this going. This has a 283 up under the hood. Power steering, pretty clean. Lots of room, whole lot of room under this hood. Let's see what it's got here. It's like it's got drum brakes all the way around. Good tires. Paint job's pretty slick. Starting up here in the front, I do see that some of the chrome on the bumper is a little bit iffy here. You can get bumpers pretty cheap online though. Brand new front and rear. There's a little dent right there on the top of it. The grill's in pretty good shape. I want to be pointing out any kind of flaws that I could find. So let's run down this side here. There's a chip at the bottom of the door there where the paint's trying to come up. Oh, look, what is this? A little flat spot in the paint from here to here. You see, it's kind of dull there. There's a chip. Another chip here. The rest of it looks pretty good. Little spot there on the roof. The trim looks great. Somebody's already done all the work and replaced that. The bed looks great on this one. Front windshield's in good shape as well. We'll be laying the hood down in just a moment. Mirrors have been replaced. Door handles have a little age on them. Rear bumper's the same as the front. It does have minor scratches. Little dent there at the bottom. Dual exhaust out the back. That hole there looks a little butchered. Tailgate's looking pretty good. There's a spot right there on the door. A little bit flat right here where my hand, actually the same as my hand, because it's nice and clean here, but just right in there is a little flat. I'm trying to make it pop up in the video. I know sometimes it don't pop up every single detail, but I will zoom in on it and try to make it stand out for you. All right, let's check the interior out on this one. That seat looks great. 
Carpet looks good in this. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Headliner's in great shape. The dash looks good. B&M shifter. It's showing 28,000 miles. I can't stand behind that on these old classic cars. Door panel's in great shape. Weather stripping looks new around it. Well, it's not new though. It looks good down here. When I mean, you get real close to it, you can see some of the dry rot popping up. It should be sealing up good though. I spoke too soon, guys. I spoke too soon. <laughs> This little trim piece needs to go back on it. All right, let's sit up in here. Aftermarket gauge is under the dash. We'll go ahead and start it up, see how easy it starts. We'll pump the gas. It's been sitting back here for a little bit. Maybe flooded. There we go. Try some of the stuff out in here. See if you can get the radio to work. Radio's not cutting on on this one. Wipers? It's gonna need some work on the wipers. The switch feels like it's bad. It's just loose, not turning. Horn? No spring, no horn. Not on this one. The gas gauge is reading about a quarter tank. Gauges are kind of hazy. Oil pressure. It's moving around, but not in a hurry. Water temperature's still down on this one. And the ashtray's missing. Nice and quiet. Needs a fan shroud. Or you can save your fingers. Hood comes down nice and easy. We're gonna look over how it lines up. Little scratch on the hood here, it should polish out. I feel like it's coming off right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some undercarriage shots. We're gonna look up under the front, the driver's side, the rear, and the passenger side. I do got close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com, so definitely check that out. Let's go ahead and look up under this one.
I do appreciate y'all watching. Um, as long as it stops raining today, I'll go ahead and do the test drive. But the way it's looking, I'm just going to pull a bunch of cars under here, get a lot of these outside walkarounds done today. Uh, best thing I can do for the rain. That way I can keep these videos rolling. I've got a lot to catch up this week. I think I got eight more cars to do before uh, Friday, really, because I need to start on next week's. But I do appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to post videos every single day. Check out maplemotors.com. If you're looking to get financed, we have those options available. We also have shipping available and close to 100 detailed pictures of all the cars. See all of our inventory, which is updated every Monday. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again.